Here we are at Media Services, second floor of Pala Mountain, and I'm going to take you on a little guided tour of Skid TV's TV station. Let's go. Here we are at the elevator, the only way to access the TV station. It's a little rickety. Some people, uh, some people find the elevator ride a little terrifying, but, you know, honestly, I don't know what they're complaining about. So here we are. We're technically, I suppose, on the third floor of Pal Mountain. There's no real way to get here except by elevator. And here is the television station. I'll take you over here to the heart of the operation. Here is the video switcher, audio mixer, VCR, DVD player. There's a lot of devices in this rack. So there's the DV deck TV showing us what's going on, the sub switcher, the titler, the patch bag, the video server, DVD jukebox, another DVD player. Over here we have the all important uh, preview TV that lets us see what we're broadcasting out. And the whole area badly needs a cleanup up into the television studio where live shows and important works are done. I can't think of anything else to go through right now. The studio needs a lot of work, but we'll get there. Skid TV is another medium for students to express themselves creatively. We're also an archive for events that go on on campus. We tape all events for which there's interest. Performances we tape all the time. The Big Top Show is one of our important ones, as is the fashion show in the spring, the Pro Arts Show. Mo Rocca was last year. He came on. Uh, we taped his, his lecture-tainment, I guess I would call it. Some clubs are, are getting taped for the first time because we're expanding our base this year. And it's nice because we have, sometimes they tape themselves, but they don't really have the equipment or the expertise to, to do a really good job of taping. And of course, we can author things to DVD. So then they'll have a video DVD they can watch for years later if they so desire. I would define the station as an outlet for upcoming filmmakers, people who are interested in film. We provide equipment as well as support, uh, information, educational opportunities to learn about film and study it as both an art form and also as um, a business. We run TV shows. Producing original content is very important to us and we will support students who want to make any movies, films, we will lend our equipment and training expertise to them. This year we've really branched out. We've been aggressively seeking new TV shows. And a couple people have stepped up to fill the gap. We have Shave Talk, The BS Show, uh, The Brian Petra Show is starting soon, and then we have a couple others. Other than student shows and taped events, um, you may have noticed a lot of old movies if you've ever watched. There's an amazing amount of free open source content on the internet. Um, a lot of old movies, for example, lapse into the public domain after copyrights expire, and some of them are real gems, so it's nice to have those. Uh, recently, we, be we switched to Channel 16 and changed our name from TV3 to Skid TV, since that made more sense. For a long time, we were TV3, and equipment and everything was vastly different. Skid TV has had trouble taking off in the past. I think we've had three or four runs, which really haven't been as successful as its leaders would have hoped. Uh, however, each little failure has kind of helped us create a better, more secure station today. Heretofore, we haven't had as much of an impact as we should as a media outlet, but I think that our impact is growing definitely on the Skidmore community as we are networking with other clubs and groups and SGA and IT and really branching out. We're still in the growth stage. Um, we have a lot to do to not only become the station that we want to become, but to become established in a lot of pe people's minds. You know, um, a lot of people still think of us as a joke, but in due time, everyone will be watching Skid TV. 
So what do you think about the uh, Skidmore television station? Um, to be honest, never really watched it. Sometimes I just pass through it in the day and something really odd is on and I don't know what it is. And it's usually a shit show, um, but it's really funny sometimes. I watch the BS show because Bill's awesome. Um, <laughs> I don't really watch it that often to be honest with you. I think that our past still haunts us a little bit, um, but that doesn't mean we can't overcome it as we have been doing already. As we ourselves begin to reach out and get what's most important for students, um, you know, the most controversial lectures, the, the most, um, the, the sold out performances that everyone can't make it to, as we start getting that info and we start publicizing that we have that and we're showing it, um, then I think more people will come to us. Right now, I think that um, we're, we're, we're good. We just have a long ways to go. The future is going to be good. Uh, I think that as long as we stay motivated, we use the momentum we have now and keep moving forward, then there's no excuse for us not to be at a, at a level that um, is respected not only by people on campus but off campus. I recognize and I love the power of media and I think that as long as we continue to move in the right direction then we can be we can be great. We can really, really, and we can have fun with it, which is, which is amazing. Like we can get behind the scenes and talk to Black Alicious or whoever's gonna come to campus, Bob Saget or Talib Kweli, whoever comes to campus, we can talk to them and say, hey, who are you? And we'll have that exclusive and everybody will wonder why. And that's just the power of media. You know, we, we get away with stuff. I might have lost a note at the end.